Hi, crafty friends. You guys, as soon as I saw those little uh, miniature pots at Dollar Tree, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. So I'm using one of the little bases from Dollar Tree also, and I'm gonna paint up the sides of it. And I'm actually gonna paint the bottom of it up too, because I wanna make sure um, with this project that you don't see, uh, well, you might flip it over and see the bottom, but I just want the whole thing to be nice and painted up because what we're going to do, I know you're going to be surprised when I tell you this, um, we are going to do a little distressing. <laughs> so the flower pots, um, I got two packages of them. Each package has one large and two small. So I needed two packages because we're going to actually use these as risers um, for this project. So I'm going to paint just the four smalls and set those aside to dry up. And then we are going to start sanding. So I love this little shiplap look that's there, the top of it, how it comes like that. So I thought, ooh, we're just going to just sand away um, on the edges and then the sides of it also. Just to kind of, because once you start to sand, it gives you kind of that same color. See how that looks? I love it. All right. So um, that's why I was like, all right, we're just going to sand this. We don't need to do any more distressing other than a little bit of sanding. So once I get the top how I want it and how it's kind of starting to look, then I'll um, turn it on the sides and do that same thing. Um, now you can see down there at the bottom, there's these little velvet push pins that I found at Dollar Tree also. And I love these so much. And I was like, when I first bought them, I was like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to use these in something. And I think this project is going to be perfect because what I want to do is I want to put them around the edge so that they're almost like, you know, like decorative little, almost like the halfwood beads look. But I love that they are that velvet and then have kind of that copper color um, because once we push it into the wood, you're still able to see both of those. Okay, so now it's all, look at that. I love how that looks. Just a little sanding. All right, so the nice thing about this is I kind of laid them all out where I was kind of estimating where I wanted them to go. And the nice thing about this is they push into this so super easy. Just did it with my finger. I didn't have to use a little hammer or anything like that. So I love when it's easy and it just goes right in. So doo! all right, we're going to get these all, all the way around the edges um, the way we want. And then we will go ahead and hot glue on um, the little pots for the risers. And really, you guys, this is another one of those super easy projects. Love the easy projects so much. And also, if we didn't want to paint the whole thing black, we could have done a different color if we want, so we could totally change it up. But here's how it turned out. I just am loving, 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 loving. Madison was already like, hey, mom, can I have that? <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.